Hello and welcome to episode 8, I think? I'm not sure. I don't actually know. So, today we're going to be doing some things, I thought, between episodes. We might need another classroom. So I'm making a similarly sized room as to the one over here, over here, because we've actually had a few people start to finish, if I go to programs, We've actually had a few people start to finish the uh, Foundation Education Program and they want to start doing the General Education Qualification thingy. So, um, it's only fair that we can have two going on simultaneously. Uh, so we're gonna have another classroom just over here. Uh, we've still not got anyone doing the Alcoholics Therapy, we've still not got anyone doing the Drug Addiction. Uh, there's no one, well, people want to do carpentry, but we don't actually have carpenters' tables or anything. And no one wants to do, um, behavioral, behavioral therapy? Be behavior oral. No, that's not right. Behavior, I, I don't even know. I'm not even gonna attempt to, to, uh, <laughs> There's something wrong with me speaking today, and I don't know what it is. I just can't fathom how to speak. So, um, I, I apologize for my inability to talk properly. Uh, now we're gonna need to light this up, obviously, so let's just drag a cable in through there. Uh, we are going to need, uh, I believe, if we actually designate it as a classroom, we are gonna need some things. I'm gonna put a door servo above that door. Do we get the door, you know, opening? Uh, we are going to need a, a desk for the teacher. Which is going to go there. Uh, I think it's going to need school desks as well. Which are going to go sort of along here like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's. 10, 12. I need, it's a row of 3, 6, 8, I think, over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. And then two rows of 8 and then a 4. Right. The 4 at the front can be the uh, the good children. Um, well, not children, because it's a prison. Um, yeah, let's change that around. Let's change that around a little bit. Um... So we're going to have another foundation education program, which you can see is filling up, and another general education. Obviously, one of the general educations isn't going to be full, uh, but the the foundation education ones are going to be. So I might even change that about a little bit more and have it so we have three foundations and one general, which wouldn't be too bad. Uh, I said last time that at night I was going to do a shakedown of the entire prison. Uh, I totally forgot to do that, so this night, which is coming up pretty pretty soon actually, we are going to do that. So as soon as all these prisoners have returned to their cells, we're going to bang up and shake down. I think, no, lockdowns lock all the doors. Bang up is send prisoners back, shake down, yeah. Yeah, I, I did get it the right way around. Never mind. I'm just a little bit confused. Um, it's free time for a little bit, though. Uh, he's definitely just got something. Let's search him. Yeah, he has. Look. What's he got? He's got a screwdriver and some booze. I thought he had. I saw him running around and being suspicious. So, right, so how long is it going to be before everyone is back in their cells? There's a guy just sort of like locked up there. Um, Alright, so I think it's time. We're going to do it. Bang up, shake down. Uh, I'm actually going to get a couple more guards as well. I'm going to go up to 25. So let's get all of these prisoners shook down. And get it going. So we've got 422 places to search. Um, I think either just today or total uh, in the entire history of the prison, we've found 53 spoons, three needles, 
one medicine, seven booze, seven poison, three cigarettes, eleven saws, four lighters, nine screwdrivers, nine drugs, nine hammers, five drills, ten hammers actually now, and a cell phone. Jesus, where are they getting it all from? I'm assuming it's all being thrown over the walls. Um, I bet he's probably got something. He's He's been released. Oh, no, he hasn't got anything. Surprising. Uh, so, yeah. Let's just make sure everything is searched. This is going to massively piss them off because they're locked up for no reason and being searched. Uh, as soon as I figure out... We're almost up to daytime. And we still have quite a few places to search. I really hope they hurry up and finish this. Because I don't want all of them to be locked up when it's eat time. Because that's going to seriously piss them off. Come on, hurry up searching. I mean, I'm surprised they're not getting even pissed, more pissed off right now. I mean, they've got serious complaints starting. I wonder what they are. Uh, they, they are sleeping, so that's alright. I think they just want hygiene, freedom, etc. time is it? It's almost shower time. And they're not finished yet. So we might not manage to do a full shakedown. Uh, in fact, I'm very quickly going to get, um, just to see if we actually can, tool clean up. So there's only a couple more places to search. Come on. We can do this. But we haven't removed the supply of stolen tools or stolen weapons. So, where are all these stolen tools and weapons? I'm assuming it's probably in all of these fridge things that came in and all of the other stuff that's being sort of stored. So, they didn't miss eat time, which is, of course, the most important bit. Well, they almost did. They're probably going to be a little bit hungry. Um... I don't know, actually. It might be... We're making 10,000 grand a day. Crap, idi do doodle do. Um, I'm getting the offshore tax haven for that. And I think we're going to start rolling out some tasers and body armor as well. So let's get all of that stuff researched it urchin. Um, I, I'm surprised we didn't get this. Because I have no idea where they were hiding stuff. Unless it means, like remove the supply as in literally you need to remove the supply of everything oh our investment is done that's nice uh, I think we'll do crack down on drugs it's finished simple enough uh, we just found all of the other stuff which is good uh, I think we're gonna get maximum security infrastructure so as soon as we get the tasers and the body armor we should be good for that one. I just got some post. Uh, heard that. It was quite loud, actually. It sounded like he put a sledgehammer through the front door. Um, right then. So it's going to take quite a little while to research all of that stuff. Uh, I might actually start putting some floors in everywhere. Which isn't really the bestest idea to be doing right now. But we have got quite a large amount of money. So I'm going to put some marble tiles down, sort of everywhere I think needs to be having a nice floor. Uh, I'm not going to use ceramic anywhere, just because, you know, it's the most expensive, most expensive floor. It doesn't really need to be uh, all over the place. Um, I say that, but then I think I'm going to actually just put ceramic all the way down this corridor. Because it's the it's sort of the nicest looking one. So I'm gonna have ceramic all the way sort of in these areas. Uh, I'm gonna have wooden there. 
And we can have some white tiles in the cleaning cupboard, because that's a cleaning area, you know, it's not meant to be nice. Uh, some wood in the visitation. Uh, we're gonna go for the same thing and have ceramic up to there. We can have wood in the classrooms. Uh, white tiles in the laundry. And I think we might go with um, not concrete tiles. Metal. Let's go with metal and see what it looks like. If we want to change it, we can, obviously. But I'm going to go with metal and we're going to see what it looks like in the workshop. So that was quite a copious amount of money we've just spent there um, on floors. And it's not even for the whole prison. We're just doing sort of the inmate areas. You know, like these areas where they can all chill out, learn, clean, work, etc. It's all... Um, all working out quite well. We've got a yard, which we've never actually put anything in. Um, I kind of think we should probably put like um, some phones or something in the yard, but I, I'm i not too sure. We've got quite a few phones, quite a few TVs. We've got quite a few bits of stuff there. I, I, I don't know. Maybe we will one day. Whoop, 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 him, him. He has something. Don't let him to his cell. Yep, there we go. Ah, I saw you, you bastard. Um, he just ran up from over here and then just pulled out some booze right on that corner there. So, that was nice of him to do that, wasn't it? Um, righty then, righty, righty, righty. We've got them putting in floors, obviously. I don't know why I always just comment on what is happening and what you can see. I just do it. I, I don't know why. Uh, no one's really said that they are annoyed by that, but I, I'm, I'm annoyed by it because it just annoys me that um, whenever, I, uh, whenever I'm playing this game and I have nothing to talk about, I just talk about what's happening, um, which is a little bit boring, really. Um, righty then. So let's get some... I'm gonna get some wooden floor in there. Uh, we are gonna have metal in the armory area. And I think we are going to have white tiles in the other area. Uh, in the security, which I actually designated as a security uh, earlier today, because previously it was designated as nothing. And we need a security room, so why not just put it in the, uh, in where we already have all of the security stuff. So, you know, makes sense. Um, right, so officers. Let's go with some lovely wooden floor. Uh, I think for the staff room also, we shall have some wooden floor. There we go. Uh, we're gonna do the cells last, mainly because, you know, that's just the order I want to do it in. So why not? Uh, have all the guards got like body armor and stuff yet? Oh no, body armor is the next one. Uh, if we want all of the guards to get tasers, we need to do taser rollout. Now I've just noticed a flaw with this, which is all of the guards are bunched up there, including the one that's controlling the doors. So I'm gonna have to open that, temporarily. Jesus, look at them all. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, just watching them all run in. <laughs> oh, that's made me happy, that's. That was really quite funny because the guy here was just like, screw this, I'm getting my body armor. I ain't letting no one else in. Oh wait, shit, no one else is going to let me in. <laughs> oh, that was quite funny actually, I like that. Alright then. 
so we've got lots of the people doing things. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually change the policy. So if you are f found with weapons, we search your cell. Because at the moment, if we we're mainly searching them and finding stuff. So I think if we um, if we search the cell afterwards, we probably find more stuff. Just because of how the prisoners are, we're probably going to find more stuff in this cell if we've already found stuff. Right, so there's not really much we can do except for the produce 10 beds and wait. We could do inmate nutrition research, but I honestly can't. I can't be bothered at the moment to do nutrition research. So for now, that's going to be staying how it is. Um, I am, however, going to get a carpentry apprenticeship. Which I thought would moan that it didn't have a room or a teacher. But obviously, that's okay, because this is only a two hour slot. So, this carpentry apprenticeship is going to require some of these carpenters' tables. Which we are going to get. a couple of. We are going to get three carpenter's tables, because that's the max amount we can sort of fit in, whilst making sense. And just whilst we're at it, we're also going to get a couple more of those. And to ensure that we don't short it out, I'm just going to put four more capacitors. I think it's going to short out, though. I don't know. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Um, it probably wouldn't have anyway, but, you know, it's nice to have the extra bit of capacitors anyway. Just in case uh, at some point we roll out some Xboxes for the prisoners or something. Um, because that would draw a shite ton of power. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to roll out Xboxes anyway, because there's no Xboxes in the game. Uh, I absolutely hate Xboxes anyway. That's why I'm giving them to the prisoners. Um, so, right. Right, 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 right. right. There's no people being treated for drug addiction yet, which is kind of annoying, because you think there would be, because we've found a lot of them with drugs. I mean, he wants alcohol, but he's not being referred... He's not being referred to the alcohol therapy, so I don't know why. Helps reduce. I, I don't. I don't know why no one's being referred to this. Or this. I, I, I just don't understand why it's not being referred. Because we found them with drugs, we found them with. Like other stuff. Uh, I think I'm actually sort of getting to the max of what this door control system can control as well. Uh, which isn't good. Because, uh, he, as you can see, it's taking a little while for doors to open. Like, af after people walk up to them now. And that's mainly because we've got this one door control thing controlling every door in the prison. Which isn't the smartest thing, really. Uh, I think. Just so we don't get any sort of lag between these, I think I'm I'm going to build another door control and have it sort of like there, just behind that one, or facing the other way, and then I'm going to connect the road gate to it. And I'm going to like clear the connections on all of the road gates, except for the other like uh, door control. And in fact, I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to buy another door control, which should automatically connect up to the stuff. Uh, I am going to temporarily clear all the connections on these. And here. So if we just check, that should be working. So it's obviously it didn't. Why doesn't that work? Is the, is the clear connection button not working or something? No, it isn't. That's not good. Um, so actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to forget the clear, the uh, clear connections. I'm going to dismantle them, which should clear the connections anyway. Uh, I'm going to 
connect of that. And then once they've been dismantled, I'm going to rebuild them. Except this time, uh, I'm actually going to connect them to that one instead. And the same thing is going to happen down here. I'm going to dismantle all of these door servos. And then I'm going to remantle. That no, that's not that's not right. Remantle. No, that's not that's not the right word at all. Um I'm going to rebuild them connected to this one instead. So now we've got a separate door control controlling the main gates. Which obviously is good. She wouldn't have the uh, the same thing controlling every door in the prison. Oh, no. There. And then wait for that one. Put one there. Lovely. So, you'll just wait for those to be reinstalled. It shouldn't take too long. They are being reinstalled, right? One, two, three, four. Yes, they are being reinstalled. Lovely. That is good. I've said lovely a hell of a lot today, which I apologize for. I don't mean to be saying things a hell of a lot. I just like saying things repeatedly. Um, <laughs> God, that didn't make any sense whatsoever, what I just said there, did it? Right. So the whole idea of having a couple of things controlled by something else seems to be working for the most part. Uh, I do need to obviously reconnect these ones down below since they would have been disconnected. There we go, lovely. So now we don't have everything being controlled by the same one, which is obviously a good thing. Because we don't want that. We don't want everything being controlled by the same thing. Because that obviously uh, offers a little bit of redundancy. If that one was to die, we can still get stuff through the doors without having to actually open them manually. Which is always good. Um, right. I'm seriously stumped on ideas of what to do. Um, I'm going to have a look at the needs quickly and see... Uh, there's a couple of people needing alcohol, a few people needing drugs, clothing, freedom, piracy, environment, comfort. Yeah, yeah there's a couple of things going. Uh, a couple of people need food. About four or five people. I'm thinking I'm going to actually add the extra eat time here. Like, perhaps, um, if we were to shift that eat down, move that... Put another little eat time here with one free time. So they're only really going to get one free time in the entire day. And that is that point there. I really don't think that's going to work out too well. I mean, we are eating at like three. So maybe if we switch that around a bit more and put that there maybe? Um, 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 yeah, yeah, let's, I tell you what, let's reduce this to a three hour and we'll put two hours of free time midday. Now that's probably going to have, like, totally screwed up the entire, oh no it hasn't actually. Oh that's good, I thought it would have screwed that up completely. So we've got six people that have passed here. Uh, only two of them have decided to go on and do general education, uh, which are the smart ones, obviously, that want to do well. Uh, I haven't actually checked what the grading looks like yet. 31% reoffending rate, that's pretty good actually. Uh, the health's not doing too well for some reason. I don't know why, because we actually do have doctors and they're doing an alright job. Uh, I wonder if it's just because of the mess that's in the prison. I don't know. Um, we've got six prisoners in solitary. How it should be. Um, and yeah. 
Uh, I'm seriously considering putting a wall here to separate the cells from where these people are sort of at. Maybe even like a little bit of one there to let them through. I don't know, how would that work? If I was to put a brick wall... Like so. And then perhaps replace this bit with metal. I could even have another solitary door there. I mean, I might even dump these three solitary cells, because they're just sort of a little bit redundant. I mean, I guess we could keep these ones for the really bad prisoners, so they can be graded on the way to the actual solitary. Or they can be the good they can be the good ones, and this is like the max security solitary. I don't know. I, I think we'll just sort of do it the way it should be. Let's just do it the way it should be. We've still got 48 hours to wait for our long-term investment. Which is seriously taking a long time to sort of process or go through or whatever is happening to it. Um, I'm going to actually accept that and the education reform. Um, we've only had six prisoners pass our uh, foundation right now. Uh, we need five to pass the general. That's going to take absolutely ages. That's probably going to be the end of the series by the time we complete that one. Um... But we have already had six people pass. Uh, we do want to have ten superior beds. But sadly, for now, I'm going to call this the end. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you next time with some more Prison Architect Madness. Goodbye.